Welcome to River Road Church's celebration of our educators as part of our ongoing Thoughtful Faith Community events. My name is Anna Miller, and I have the privilege of being the Associate Pastor for Adult Discipleship at River Road Church. As you will see in a moment, I work with a group of fantastic leaders who are informed, caring, servant-hearted people who love the Lord and serve in a variety of roles. Please join me as we celebrate and give thanks for these friends. Hello, River Road Church family. My name is Marguerite Bostic, and I am the chair of the Board of Christian Education and Spiritual Formation. In the spring of the year, the board recognizes the members of our congregation who give their time and talents each Sunday to serve as teachers in our Sunday school. Their dedication to providing Christian education for every age and stage of life is a gift to us all. The current health crisis has forced us to be the church online and our amazing teaching staff has not hesitated to lead classes virtually or through recorded lessons. We thank them all for their willingness to adapt and for their continued guidance. Hello, this is Sean Ryan, your River Road Sunday School Director. On behalf of Amy Hubbard and Andy McAllister, Assistant Sunday School Directors, I want to say thank you to our Sunday School teachers and coordinators. We have an amazing group of teachers and classroom leaders here at River Road. Collectively, they keep us connected to one another and to our church and our faith while encouraging us to grow in our relationship with God by exploring scripture and our own life through it. If you have attended any of our classes, you know how hard they prepare, sharing their perspective on the Bible while introducing us to authors, books, videos, podcasts, experiences, and people that have shaped their faith. And such a warm and welcoming group. If you are not currently attending a class, I know there is one for you. Again, thank you teachers and class leaders you take on the role of Christ in so many ways, and we immeasurably benefit from your service. God bless you all. Hi, I am Evan Nur. My Sunday school teacher is Miss Seward. She teaches the third grade class. Our teachers tell us stories from scripture, show us God's love, and make our time together fun. My favorite thing about third grade Sunday school is learning the books of the Bible. <clears throat> Miss Seward makes awesome quizzes. Thank you, Miss Seward and all River Road Sunday school teachers. I miss you. I am Alex Nur, and my Sunday school teacher is Mrs. Seward. My favorite thing about third grade class is when Miss Seward lets us act out scripture readings. I was the star on the acted out the Christmas story. I like when Miss Sarah shares about her life. She is a great teacher. Also, when we're good, Miss Seward gives us donuts as a reward. Thank you, Miss Seward and all River Road Sunday School teachers. I miss you and have a good time in quarantine. To all youth educators, I just want to say thank you for all that you do for me and my fellow youth members. The time you sacrifice to help educate us is truly appreciated and is so important. Thank you for always being there with smiling faces and welcoming us into a community where we feel safe and valued. Through my seven years in the youth group, I have had wonderful educators and mentors that have shaped my faith journey and have allowed me to grow into the person I am today. I'm so grateful for all of you for impacting me in that way. And again, thank you so much. There are three individuals who are committed to be resources to our Sunday school teachers making curriculum available, and helping all who attend Sunday morning Bible study. You find them in the entryways greeting people on Sunday mornings, welcoming guests, and helping them find the appropriate classes. They pray for our leaders, for our classes, and for our church. A special shout out of thanks to Sean Ryan, Amy Hubbard and Andy McAllister for their commitment and service as Sunday School Directors. Each year we honor an individual or individuals who go above and beyond what is expected of a Sunday School teacher. This year's honoree has dedicated his life to education. Scott Leake, 
chair of our Adult Christian Education Committee, will tell you more about Ed Pruden. We invited members of the congregation to share their comments and thoughts for this special event. Here are just a few. Hey Ed, congrats on the award, it's well deserved. We're just lucky to share this faith journey with you. We're so proud of you and know that this award means more to you than any other professional or personal award that you've gotten thus far. Very proud of you and love you. Congratulations, Mr. Pruden on Educator of the Year. Congratulations, Ed. We're so thrilled for you and feel that no one is more deserving than you for this amazing award. Congratulations, Ed. We're so excited for you and we know you deserve it. And we just look forward each Sunday to coming and hearing your well-prepared great lesson. Thank you for all you do for our class. Thank you. Congratulations. Ed, I'd like to congratulate you on this great honor. I can't think of a more fitting person to honor in this way. Your messages are succinct, on point, delivered with compassion and love. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Ed. Thanks so much for teaching us Sunday school. It's one of our favorite things. We look forward to it every Sunday. And thanks for being able to put it on Zoom so fast. Hey Ed, thanks so much for, for what you do and thanks for uh, providing all the context and history and, and thoughtful preparation to, to bring the scripture alive to us. Thank you. Congratulations on your honor as Educator of the Year, Ed. We're so appreciative of your love and service and dedication to the Robert Smart class. We don't know how we would do it without you. Thanks again. Thank you, Ed, for serving River Road Church faithfully over many years. And thank you for continuing to lead the Robert Smart Sunday School class on Thursday evenings during this pandemic. There you provided a thoughtful devotional along with words of encouragement and support. Thank you, Ed, for all your service and for reminding us of the importance to be a church family. Congratulations. Ed, congratulations. I can't think of anyone more deserving of this award. Um, thank you for um, taking the scriptures that we have each Sunday and making them relevant uh, in today's world and uh, creating good discussions uh, in our classroom. And uh, you've been my only Sunday school teacher since I was in ninth grade, and I uh, couldn't think of anyone else that I'd rather have. Thanks. Hey, Ed, just wanted to take a moment to say thanks so much for all you bring to our Sunday school class. I love the expertise that you have, as well as the passion that you bring each and every Sunday. I enjoy the conversation. Thanks. Congratulations, Ed. Thank you for your dedicated and faithful service to the Robert Smart class. We really appreciate you. Congratulations, Ed. It's quite an honor to win Educator of the Year. Congrats, Ed. Thanks for all you do for River Road Church. Ed, congratulations on your award. I know you're a humble man, but it's okay to take a bow. I personally am grateful for your teaching, your friendship, and your wonderful sense of humor. Congratulations again. Love the Ryans. Ed Pruden, teacher extraordinaire. For me, friend extraordinaire. We were probably in our late 20s, turning 30 a bit, having babies, when we were at a Sunday school social, a class meeting, and we decided that we needed to name our Sunday school class. There were lots of couples at that time, lots of couples. We all cared about each other. We all cared about having a good time. We all cared about our church. Ed was one of the ones who suggested that we name the class the Phoenix class. That was the first experience we had of knowing Ed as a teacher. Over and over through the years, we've seen him teach various ages, various kinds of scripture passages, all with dignity, with scholarship, with passion. Lately, he's been teaching through Zoom, again, in a wonderful way. But for me, best of all is knowing that Ed loves his church, he loves his family, and he loves his friends. And I happen to be one of those friends. I am grateful. Congratulations, Dad. 
I've had the unique opportunity to grow up in River Road Church and watch as you served in various leadership capacities in our church. What a gift that has been to me, our family, and those you served. I remember when you taught my Sunday school class in high school. I can only imagine that we were not a very energetic bunch at 9.45 in the morning. However, I do remember how you always tied scripture to what was going on and to make the scripture meaningful to us. Fast forward to today and you continue to bring relevant examples and different perspectives for the Robert Smart class to consider. JR, Sarah, and I have been so blessed to have a father who has demonstrated his faith through servant leadership in our church. We are so proud of you. You know, Ed Pruden and I share something in common. We're both preacher's kids, which means, of course, that we've seen up close and personal the beauty, the aggravation, and yes, sometimes the pain that comes with being a ministry family. It should come as no surprise then that many preacher's kids leave church altogether once they leave that house and mama doesn't drag them to church anymore. Other preacher's kids grin and bear it because they feel an obligation to the church that raised them and helped put food on the table. And yet other preacher's kids, like Ed, grow up and despite knowing all about it, remain in love with the church. And one of the greatest ways Ed Pruden loves his church is by faithfully teaching Bible and life lessons to young people week after week after week. Ed is an inspiration to us. He has a deep faith, loves Peggy and his children and grandchildren, maintains a healthy sense of humor, and never gets too big for his britches. That last thing is something my grandmama used to say about people who lose their humility and forget where they come from. But my friend Ed Pruden remembers where he comes from. He remembers that he was born in the church, he was raised in the church, and he loves River Road Church so dearly that he wants to pass along that great love to the next generation of committed and faithful followers of Jesus. Ed, we love you, and we celebrate giving this award to you. God bless you. For over a quarter of a century, our church has annually recognized a Christian Educator of the Year. Five years ago, we broke new ground in honoring two persons, Tom and Wendy Graves. They were succeeded by Sid and Ann Hayes and Rob and Ann James. Last year, we saw our first mother-daughter pair of hon honorees, Betsy Lowry and Kate Nero. This year, we break new ground again, one individual with a dual role. You see, in Ed Pruden, we have, one, a Christian who is an educator, and two, someone who is devoted to Christian education and spiritual formation. Ed has spent a lifetime in public education as a classroom teacher, a school principal, and system administrator in Virginia and North Carolina. To say his influence has been far and wide is both literal and metaphorical, as he has been the principal at Henrico's Douglas Freeman and Richmond City's TJ, two high schools aptly described as miles yet worlds apart. Ed's contribution to the life of River Road Church Baptist are manifold. Six terms as a deacon, two terms in the Board of Christian Education, as church moderator, and currently on the Board of Administration. However, it's his time in the Sunday school classroom that stands out for us today. You see, it's come full circle. For many years, Ed taught in the senior high department. Today, he teaches the parents of teens in the Robert Smart class. So to a Christian who is an educator in every sense of the word, we honor Dr. Ed Pruden as River Road Church Baptist Christian Educator of the Year for 2020.
if it was sunny, would have had the convertible. I love it. Mom, man, the bell. I should have gotten Bessie's bell out. Thank you so much. More cowbell. More cowbell. <laughs> She's taking a picture of you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you know, how y'all doing? It's good to see you. Hey, Thanks for being in the parade. Good to see you both of you. Hey, Emily. That's your heart. Yay. 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 Call her. Thank you. So sweet. He's a cutie pie. He's a golden. He's a golden doodle. I told him I want to get a golden doodle. He's a golden doodle. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! I love it. Hey guys. Thank you all very much. I appreciate this. That was a good one. I have been teaching something at River Road for about 40 years. I did the senior highs for about 25 years. And when we came back from North Carolina, I had the good fortune to be invited to teach the Robert Smart class. So I got promoted from high school to young adults. But I guess the reason I've done it all these years is that I get so much out of it. The relationships with the people in the classes, I uh, got to know the young people growing up and still can see them now as young adults. A, a couple of them in the smart class I had in, in high school. Uh, but it keeps my head in the literature, keeps my head in the Bible, uh, gives me an opportunity to talk with intelligent people and to, to discuss our thoughtful faith questions and issues uh, in a trusting, loving environment. And uh, it means the world to me. I would do it for free. And I just appreciate the opportunity each week to be with, with good people and, and talk about our faith. 